Hello guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. Today, we are going to talk about the Java get bytes method, which is a method we can use to encode a given string into a sequence of bytes. And when evaluated, this method will return an array of bytes. So there are two ways to use this method. And in the first example, I will show you how to encode a given string using the default character set method. So you need to have a string and uh, I will call this string I uh, code in river. Let me just say something like this. And uh, since the method returns an array of bytes, so we need to declare an array of bytes that will store the, the array of bytes returned when the method is executed. So I will say byte, and this array, I will call it array bytes. So array underscore byte. And uh, now I need to call my method. So I will do str that get bytes like this, open and close the brackets. So in order to output the content of the array, I'm gonna use a for loop. And in here, I will declare a byte value variable, a byte variable that I will call content. And I will pass the content of my array to that variable. So I will say array bytes like this. And uh, in here, I will do a system that out that print line. So in here, I'm going to output the content of this variable content and then run. So now, as you can see in the console, uh, the program has returned the sequence of bytes. Okay. That I have here. So now in the second example, I will show you how to encode a given string using a specified character set. Okay, so the I will keep the string variable str here and uh, all that I'm going to add in here will be to specify the character set. So I will say utf like this. 16. You see, if I run this, uh, I will get an error. Okay, because it's saying unsupported encoding exception. So, what can I do to say? Okay, I will click on add throws declarations here. Okay, if I add, as you can see, it will import a package and a class here, and uh, it will add this throws on supported encoding exception. So now if I run, you will see that it will return uh, a sequence of bytes based on this character set method. Okay, so that's actually how you can uh, do that. So we can also use the Another character set method that will be like this one. Yeah, so now you can see that the values are changing based on the character set that you are passing. Um, uh, I can say another one will be UTF um, eight, for example, and run, yeah. So the UTF-8 here is the default one, the one supported by uh, Java by uh, default. So that, that's it. Uh, so you need to make sure that you are passing the right character set method. Okay, if you have it in mind, you can simply specify in it when calling your method. Or if you want to use the default one, you can remove the character set and then leave it 
leave the method uh, empty like this and then it will return the character uh, the byte sequence in your console so guys that's it concerning the get bytes uh, method which helps you or which allows you to encode a given string into a sequence of bytes so i hope this video was informative and thanks for viewing and don't forget to like this video and also to comment if you have any question concerning this uh, video and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well to this channel so let's meet in the next video